How are those sounds? Trunks rubbing together. It's almost like as if you were sliding around on a leather couch. Oh, a big kiss on the forehead. That's very nice. <laughs> it's not actually what that is, of course. It's as much as what we like to believe that that is the truth. I think he's just he's just displaying his dominance at the moment. And with the other elephant bull being slightly smaller and not really interested in playing, he looks like he just wants to feed. I'm sure he's going to get annoyed with the older one and eventually throw tantrum and push back and hopefully he will. Because the one on the right will have the upper hand. Because unsuspecting to his friend is that he's standing on a slope. So he just needs to push and shove. One or two big pushes and he'll push his opponent right down the side of the hill. And that might put him back into place again. And that's what happens. It's like what we saw with that little lion cub, the sighting you had with Ali. It's like that little one fought back very feisty for such a young cub, but it sort of had to. So that it, not disciplined, but warned the others, the older cubs, that you can't keep doing this to me. You can't keep pushing me around. I'm only a little thing. I'm delicate. And that sometimes works. You give them a bit of a fright more than anything, not necessarily that they'll get hurt. Oh, now you've lost the upper hand. Come on, young man. He doesn't really want to play at all. So he is being bullied at the moment, which is not nice. I would just turn around and give him a shove. Yeah. There they go. <laughs> He's retreating, the one at the back, though. He's actually running away. He might come back down towards us. Let's see. I'm not going to go and drive right there. There he comes. <laughs> And just because I feel as though they'll push and shove each other right into the car, not necessarily on purpose, but just because they become so oblivious to what's actually around them when they play. Now, Edward, you're wondering if elephants are the only animals that communicate with inaudible sounds? No, I don't think so. I think there's many different animals. Whales are another good example, of course, of using infrasounds that are so low that we can't hear them. What else? I'm sure giraffe must communicate through something that we don't know. I know they use a lot of body body language. So you can't really hear body language. You can just sort of observe it. And I think whales definitely, maybe dolphins to an extent. A lot of, of course, a lot of the marine life. But, oh. <laughs> Did that come out the front or the back, Ferg? I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. I don't know if any of you heard that. <laughs> you know what it sounded like? That, that's front. That is... <laughs> listen to the sounds. I think that's the front. It sounds like maybe a little one struggling to trumpet or it's got its trunk in its mouth and it's trying to blow at the same time, creating all sorts of noises. Well, there we go. We have, we have an orchestra of sounds today. <laughs> I want to yes, I want to find that elephant that's making that noise. That's a very interesting. Yeah, oh my can goodness! We, can we yes, should we swing around quickly? Yeah. We're going to do a bit of repositioning because there's some more young boys that have just popped out that are now pushing and shoving each other. But it's quite lovely with the with the light and with all the orange leaves. Well, some of them are still green. That was that was such an interesting noise. It's just a cheer. I don't want to push these boys too much, of course. They're all around here and they seem to be playing quite a bit. So we'll just make sure we give them enough room to push and shove. Like I said, not that I'm concerned that they're going to attack us or anything like that. Look at this boy. Oh, it's this Ellie here. Does it have a short trunk, perhaps? So it's the elephant on the right-hand side that this one is playing with. We can't see it now. We can just see its head, but he's going to charge over there. It's that one that's making that noise. Just <laughs> look how easily an elephant can disappear in the bushes in case you're wondering. There we go, we've got a battle now. They always do that, reversing out of shrubs as if to disappear and then a surprise attack and race towards their opponent. I love the way the elephants rock, rock sort of backwards and then bolt forward. We see the young elephant calves doing that quite often to build up momentum. It's really quite sweet. So that's who we're viewing at the moment. We're stuck with almost a, a mini bachelor herd, if you will. They haven't been kicked out from the herd just yet. They're, they're still playing with each other. But all these young boys. This is lovely. Elephant, can you make that funny sound for us again, please? I'm very intrigued by this. 
Can you see how he's the one on the left is retaliating now because his friend's got higher ground. Now, these two boys are sort of of equal size now and they must be around 15 years old. There you go. <laughs> Just this elephant making this noise. Now, Michael, you're wondering if an elephant with one tusk would it be would it have less breeding opportunities than one with two and uh, not necessarily i think almost an elephant with one tusk is a lot more dangerous it's the same thing as a antelope with only one horn it becomes like a knife and they're really able to stab their opponents i think when you've got two tusks sometimes you're restricted as to where you can well place your tusks on a, your opponent and i think they can get they can be a lot more dangerous so no, I don't think so at all. I think it's fairly even. I think a bull with no tusks, maybe, because how on earth do you fight properly, especially against another tusker that's almost uh, being one person being armed and the other one having absolutely no weapons except mighty strength. Here we go again. Ooh, and the one on the right with one tusk is quite feisty too. Oswaldo, you said epic battle. It's getting to that point now. Listen to this, this is amazing. The sounds that are coming out of these elephants are incredible. How cool is this? This is amazing. Now this is obviously not a real fight, but they're getting fairly rough now. It obviously all started out fun and games. And you know what it's like when siblings um, have an argument. It starts out fun and then one person gets hit or pushed and fall and they get harmed and they just think right this is a nightmare I'm going to start crying now and then I'm also going to hit you back twice as hard go 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 Just clashing of tusks every now and then you can you can hear again their trunks rubbing up against each other they're just trying to determine dominance between the two of them now the one on the left seems to be slightly larger the one with only one tusk in terms of body size and the one on the right must be only maybe a few months younger I don't think there's much sort of age difference between the two maybe a year but they'll be on their way out of this herd especially if they start behaving like this all the time the females won't tolerate it and they'll probably get pushed out together. Oh, now they're getting very rough. Yeah. <laughs> and they're also trying to lock the trunks as they push and shove. Careful, you're twisting that neck around in a very awkward position. be amazing if these are two big tuskers like the elephant bull we've been seeing over the last few days Ali's friend wouldn't that be absolutely incredible push boys push show us your strength you can hear the sliding on the gravel as well desperately trying to find grip now Danny you're wondering how do elephants lose tusks from fighting a lot of the time with the big Ellie bulls they can sort of chip away at them. If two big bulls, <laughs> if two big bulls clash tusks, it sounds like a gunshot, and they could quite easily break some of the ivory. Otherwise, it's not uncommon for elephants to either be born with no tusks or just one. You know, I don't know why this elephant is making that noise. I wonder if this. It's an interesting sort of sound. It sounds like it's trying to blow a vuvuzela. <laughs> And if any of you don't know what a vuvuzela is, it's a plastic shaped funnel musical instrument in inverted commas because it's probably one, it, it's just as annoying as the Hardy Dar Ibis call, and they always have them at all the big uh, soccer or football tournaments, depending which word you perform, uh, prefer. And it sounds like, like a young kid still trying to learn, don't you think, hey Fergus? Mm -hmm. He's coming around, he's done a sneak attack, he's gone from being an elephant to being potentially a lion. You can just sort of see him sneaking out of the right-hand corner of the screen. The sniper. The sniper, says Fergus. No, 
I think that bank was a bit too steep. He's coming back around now, so we should see him pop out on the left. Very interesting. So why